Hello guys. So today uh, I'm going to make video on the Yamaha compatible ventilator. See, we know that there are different different type of ventilators are available in the market, like a turbine based ventilator without turbine. Some ventilator require oxygen. Some ventilator require oxygen as well as air. But when we want to shift patient from ICU to uh, another ICU or sometimes we have to shift patient from ICU to MRI, ICU to CT scan and suppose patient is intubated, patient is in critical condition that time we are using transport ventilator. For in a normal condition there are different transport ventilators we are using but for the in case of MRI we have to use different type of ventilators. Those ventilators are specially designed or made for the MRI compatible. Right? So normal ventilator we can't use for the EMR. So this is nothing but ventilator you can see. This is nothing but Parapac plus 310 ventilator which is made by Smith, right? And this is a ventilator specially designed for the EMRI compatible. That means magnetic field doesn't affect all such type of ventilators. That's why it is called EMRI compatible ventilator. So before con connecting this ventilator to the patient, we have to make some basic uh, requirements. So for the transport of ventilator, first of all, you need to small tubing with the probe. It have a regulator which is connected to the cylinder. See, cylinder is a metallic. Remember one thing, whenever you are going to shift that patient inside the MRI room, never shift or never take this such type of cylinders in the MRI room. Whenever you are going to use such type of ventilators inside the MRI room, there is a special oxygen point has to be provided in the MRI room. That time you have to connect this probe into the central port which is given in the MRI room. Right? This cylinder you have to use only outdoor of the MRI. Right? So, how to connect this ventilator? See, come close. Now, before connection of oxygen, you can observe this is nothing but red. That red symbol shows that this is nothing but there is no connection of oxygen to the ventilator whenever i am going to connect oxygen to the ventilator what will happen this red will be converted into white you can see now just i have already opened the cylinder you know how to open the cylinders you just fix this regulator properly right with help of o2 key just open the cylinder is it openable it's not open right so i have to open the cylinder first so I have opened the cylinder once you have opened the cylinder you just observe the pressure it is more than 100 right this is your cylinder pressure regulator and this is your output right so now what I am going to do I am going to connect this probe here see in this way you just connect the probe and once your probe get fixed properly you can observe this red will be disappear to white again I will show you once come close now I am going to disconnect the oxygen supply see I have disconnected oxygen it converted into red and as soon as I have just connected the oxygen right it get converted into white that means central oxygen is given to the machine now second thing we have to connect patient circuit such type of patient circuits are provided with this machine so you have to connect one port here come close <coughs> There is one sample like structure to measure the tidal volume. See, you just connect, make the connection properly and connect here like this. Okay. <coughs> After that, you can observe there are different different switches on the machine. See, <coughs> this is nothing but on the off position, this is a ventilate. This is nothing but flow. This is used to adjust the CPAP, PEEP, frequency, tidal volume right in this way you can adjust the fi2 and this is for the uh, higher pressure limit right now what i am going to do just i am going to attach the test lamp to the machine now i have attached the test lamp and now i just shift it to the ventilator now you can observe see i have shifted to the ventilator ventilation has started and whenever ventilation has been started you can observe this pointer will deflect with help of this i can adjust the tidal volume suppose i'm going to set it to 700 see you can observe with help of this i can adjust the frequency suppose i'm going to adjust it 25 right with help of this i can adjust peep right uh, with help of this i can adjust the pressure see you have to remember one thing pressure should not cross 40 
that will be the uh, risky to the patient. So always it should be below the 40 in this way. Now this ventilator is ready to connect the patient. One more thing, so this ventilator is completely pneumatic ventilator. It is self-operated on the pressure of oxygen. So whenever you have to transport the patient on such machines, always you have to take care of the gas which is present, oxygen which is present inside the cylinder and which you can observe with help of this, what we can say that regulators, right? Regulator, there is a gauges they have provided. One gauge you have to give one. Uh, pressure which is exist inside the cylinder and second gauge will give you output pressure it requires four bar only which we have to set with help of a regulator now you just observe this machine is working properly you can use it for the shifting of patient okay thank you